my first big giant prediction for the next five years, I, I think this is going to sound radical, but you're going to see the sense of it immediately. I believe that landline phone calls are going to be free. And we're already so close, largely because of this VoIP, God, how I hate that terminology. It's phone over the internet, making phone calls using the internet rather than the phone company's wirings. Um, you probably have heard of Vonage, you probably have heard of Skype. These are all different ways to carry your phone calls over the internet wires instead of the phone company. Um, the, the phone company is not involved. Uh, what you do is you have a high-speed internet connection, cable modem or DSL. You plug your existing telephone into a little box that then plugs into your cable modem. Um, and it's $20 a month, or even less than that if you pay in advance, 15 bucks a month for unlimited calling in the nor Northern Hemisphere. There's no taxes or fees at all. Maybe I shouldn't say that. There are government people here who haven't yet discovered <laughs> VoIP. Um, and we'll start to tax it. Um, th that little box that you plug your phone into is your phone number. So it, it is, so anywhere you go in the world, you plug that box into a cable modem and that's your local number. So you can be traveling to Egypt and stay in a hotel and plug in the hotel room phone and your next door neighbor will dial your next door neighbor phone number and it rings in Egypt. So you, wherever you go with this, you, you carry your number. And because it's all just software, uh, these things have every feature known to man. Caller ID, caller ID blocking, call forwarding, call return, call transfer, automatic busy line redial, do not disturb during specified hours, find me. Uh, that's where it rings one of your phone numbers after another until you finally pick up. Multiple ring, that's where all your phone lines ring at once. A little lawnmower man action there. Um, Three-way calling, and what's really cool is your web statement is live. AT&T has a service like this. By the way, if, if I were uh, an investor, I would not be putting it into um, telephone company stocks because of this. Um, but AT&T is uh, hedging all its bets, and it has started its own VoIP service, Voice Over IP. And um, theirs is called Call Vantage. And what's really cool about that is you get your statement online, just like a lot of these services, but instead of seeing just the numbers you called, it actually does a little look up for everyone. You actually see their names of the people who called you. And, and you can return a call just by clicking the name on the statement and things like that. You know, Honey, did you call this 900 number? Let's see who it is. You reached sex slide. You know, but, um, so this all sounds great, and it's certainly a lot cheaper than regular phone company service. But the problem is if the power goes out, your box has no power, and you have no phone service at all which is why that most people who have VoIP also have a cell phone as a backup. Uh, the area code issue can be tricky. Um, not When you sign up, they might not have a new phone number for you in the area code where you live. So what might happen is you might wind up with a long distance number for your next door neighbor. Um, so that, that can be a little weird. And there are occasional audio glitches. So if you are downloading a big file, um, at the same time you're on a, f a phone call, you, you always get, you, you'll, you'll get used to this question, are you in the shower? You, um, so they, they, can, they can work on that. So that's 15 bucks a month, but there is in fact a way to make phone calls over the internet for free, for nothing a month, for nothing, any phone anywhere in the world, and this is Skype. You've heard of this, this is from the fine people who brought us Kazaa. Um, this is a piece of computer software. They've, 250 million people have downloaded it. It is for computer to computer calls. So you wear a headset and the other guy wears a headset. Both of you are total nerds, but it doesn't really matter because, because the call is free as in free as in nothing is, is paid to anybody. And college kids, huge on Skype, right? Because they don't have the money and they don't care about wearing headsets like nerds. And, um, also, parents whose kids are traveling abroad for the semester, let's say, they love it too because they can call Russia or London or wherever it is and talk to their kid for free and the kid is totally fine with that. Um, for two cents a minute, you can call from your computer to a regular telephone. So the other person doesn't have to be a dork, only you. So <laughs> you put on the headset and it dials, uh, the, the, the address book looks like this, just ordinary names and numbers. So two cents a minute, and, and the reason I keep thinking that phone calls are gonna be free is because for most of 2006, Skype even waived the two cents a minute. So you could make free, free, free phone calls to any phone number in any country of the world, talk as long as you want, free. 
for most of 2006. Now it's all the way up to two cents a minute.